What's up guys, Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 with TXW. This episode, what we will be doing is we are going to venture farther down than we ever have before. We are going to try and reach the underworld and get some molten armor. But first, we have some things to do. Uh, number one, I should show you guys that I finished digging our elevator all the way down to the underworld oh my gosh this was a grind a large world is so big like on a small world I think the underworld is right around here maybe and it's all the way down here on a large world it's huge it's huge um, so yeah there, there's that did that and secondly it is now Halloween season, which means that we get some special, very, very special items, like goodie bags. I have two of them. Uh, no, I did not use my goodie bag farm, which is now getting popular again on the YouTubes. Um, I haven't built one of those yet, but we still got two. Let's see what we got. A vampire costume and unicorn costume. Well, I know what we're going to wear uh, for the Halloween season. Let's, let's just see how this looks. Um, take away the dyes, and what do we get? A nice... A pretty unicorn! Um, so, that's interesting. I don't really like the, Cthulhu, the shield of Cthulhu. Uh, but, doesn't it give me extra defense? Yeah, it gives me two defense or something. I don't know. I well, When I'm building, it gets kind of annoying. But, um, not too annoying rest of the time. So, where do we, where do we put this away? We put the dice in here. Our armor goes in here. We'll come back to it later. And our costumes, we need to put somewhere else up here. If there's room, yep, rename that for costumes. Um, and there's the vampire costume. And now the last thing that we need to do is we need to take our specter boots we need to take our anklet of the wind and we need to get ourselves an aglet from right here Got ourselves a nice hard aglet go to the tankers workshop and combine them into lightning boots which allow us to run incredibly fast but wait there's more i want to see if i can do this with these lucky water walking boots i don't know if i can combine those but it would be useful if I could, and I can't, oh well. Uh, but we can do one more thing. We can go in our piggy bank and get ourselves some nice, brisk ice skates. We can combine all these in here for the frost spark boots, which allows flight, super fast running, and extra mobility on ice with a 7% increase in movement speed. Um, so that's really good. Let's grab those quick frost spark boots. Oh man, so we get even more movement speed. We're gonna be super fast. Awesome. This is gonna be great. I uh, will we'll go test that out in a bit. Uh, I think that's the fastest I've ever been. But yeah, so now we have these, which is great because those are gonna be super useful. Um, those are the best boots we can get for the rest of the game, I believe. Yeah, Shield Cthulhu being slightly annoying for when I uh, try to jump. What else was there? What else did we need to do? Oh, um, Deadly Blade Crest. I think that that's it. So now what we're going to do is we are going, one second, we are going to craft ourselves an obsidian skin potion, if I remember how to do that, which I don't. Um, obsidian skin. Ian skin potion. You gotta spell it correctly. Right down here, it's already pulled up. Don't know why I did it. We need water, fire blossom, water leaf, and obsidian. I believe I have all of that. Fire blossom, where is it? Be in the plant section. There we go. Sweet. Got ourselves fire blossom. Yourselves a couple water leaves. A bottle of water. Water, water, water. There's some bottles. Do I have any bottles of water? No, no, okay. And of course we need our obsidian. 
So let's grab that from right there. Go up top here. I should really put some water in the bat in one of the bathrooms or something. But we can just use this lake on top of the vault uh, for now. Grab some bottles of water, and here we go down back to our alchemy station. We really need to get an alchemy table for that requires hard mode, and craft ourselves three obsidian skin potions with a four minute duration. And also, we have an iron skin potion, so yeah, that'll, that'll be good for going down to the underworld. So, now let's head out, um, and I'm going to debate whether or not to do a time lapse or not. I think it might just be, I, might, I think it might be better to do a time lapse because we have to collect a whole bunch of um, hellstone ore, but it is only 12 minutes. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to start the time lapse. Alright guys, we have collected all the hellstone we'll need for quite a while, I believe. Now what I want to do is, since I forgot to grab a hellforge while I was down there, I want to go down there and just explore some of those, uh, bi some of the buildings 
down in the underworld, and also grab a health force so we can make some use of this, and so that the episode will be a bit longer, because it's, um, will only be like eight minutes so far for you guys, maybe, I don't know, or less. It's been 19 minutes here, and I watched today, uh, about 15 minutes of a movie fight, so we shouldn't, but so the episode hasn't been too long yet, not, not the right time to end it. Um, so we're just going to explore a little bit of the underworld, see what we can find. Hopefully we'll find a health force, maybe in a shadow chest. And, oh my gosh! Wow! Hello there! Um, Mandible Calavera. Oh, I, I know what that's a reference. I, I know that that should be a reference to something, but, M Manny Calavera! There, there we go. Got it. Got, got it. Okay. Excellent. Someone's finally come to take some of these maggots off my hand. Do you sell maggots? I want some maggots. Oh, that's a bone torch. All right. What have you got? Mandible Calavera. Strange brew. 80 life farm and mana. Looks and smells terrible. Mm hmm. Glow stick. Bone torch. It's interesting. I could probably make that. Uh, one arrow. Purple counterweight. Uh, don't I already have a counterweight? No, no, I don't. So might want to buy that bombs and yeah so I'm gonna pick up the purple counterweight uh, let's check out bone torch see if we can make it or if it can only be bought uh, but, but bone torch bone torch yep only sold by the um only sold by this guy so let's stock up on them we will just buy 70 of them I don't know what I'll use them for but, oh, Spelunker Glow Stick. These are sweet. I love these. So I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of them. 35, 35. So they show the location nearby a treasure. They're super cool. So I'm just going to stick that down there. And yeah, but now back on our way to explore the underworld. Got some ash blocks, silver blocks, stone block. We'll throw out some bombs. Let's hold this. See what we can see. Anything, anything. Nope. Nothing so far. Oh well. Yeah, I'll we'll mess around with that later. But we are here now. Oh man, but we don't have any more obsidian skin potions, so this is gonna be a bit sketchy. Oh wow, how do we already have a gold sweet healing potion? Alright, man it for being complete for being surrounded in so much lava. The underworld really can get dark sometimes. So yeah. I'm gonna jump up here. Healing potion. That's an imp. I'm just gonna grab this furniture while I'm at it. I'll probably grab these doors too, because these look sweet. Obsidian door. Uh any bone health forges? Nothing, nothing interesting down there. Um let's see here. No. Come on, Shield Cthulhu. Why are you so Annoying sometimes. Can I grab that? Sweet. We'll definitely be doing something with the, this later in the series. Um, I should probably grab these torches. Demon torch. Actually, I I think I can make these or buy them somehow. I don't remember. I saw something earlier in the episode, but um, now we just need to make that flight successfully. Come on, we need to find ourselves a Hellforge soon. How much gold do we have? Four gold already, sweet. We are getting the gold. Getting it. Getting it. Oh, sweet chandelier. Uh, that's a bed. But I still don't see any Hellforges. Come on. Oh, hell bats. Hate these things. They get very annoying very fast. One. Oh man, I hope I grabbed enough. Um, but this hellstone, I should have. I can make a hundred bars of it. Oh, that guy has a uh, guide voodoo doll. That we're gonna need that. Thank you very much. Okay, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Ah, oh, sweet, I made it. All right, and in here, real quick, just duck in. See if they have anything. Anything. Anything you can do, I can do better, I can do anything better than you. Finally remember the tune of that song. It's been killing me for the past few days. But I've got it now. Um, come on, just get up here. 
Come on, Joel. Come on, come on. There's a bit. Ah, oh, sweet. There we go. We got ourselves a nice health forge in here, as well as another voodoo demon. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. Just kill already. Give me a demon side or something. No? Okay. Guess not. But there we go. We got ourselves a nice health forge. Furniture. Uh, there's another building over here that I want to check out, so we'll go do that real quick. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Got a voodoo demon, also known as David Bowie in Labyrinth. And that is a very strange movie, which I did not like very much. Um, I don't know what I expected though, because it's more of a kid's movie and I didn't hear of it until I was 15. Yeah. If you do like Labyrinth, good for you. I just, I don't. Uh, but this building, oh man, come on. We're gonna burn to death, slowly. Um, there's a hell forge in here. Dang it. Dang it. So let's grab that and get out of here as soon as possible. Sweet. Oh man, we are down to 39 health. Dang it. Dang it. We dropped eight gold. I think that that gold would be quite useful to have back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to make ourselves a nice obsidian skull at wherever I make it. Thank you. Somewhere in here. There it is. All right, sweet. We're going to equip said obsidian skull. We're going to return to the underworld as soon as possible. We're going to heal up along the way, and then we are just going to let ourselves fall once we get past this plat these two platforms. We're going to retrieve the eight gold, the painting, the piano, then we'll return to the house to conclude the episode by upgrading ourselves massively. Does that sound like a plan, guys? Because it sounds like a plan to me. We can just allow ourselves to drop now. All right, all right, all right. How far away are we? Yeah, this this is just gonna take forever to fall down. Look how slowly we move across the world. Oh my gosh, and I thought it took a long time in the 1.2 Let's Play. Look at this. This is a whole nother world, I suppose, which it is. Yeah, and we are finally here. I really, 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 really like this new background. Um, it is just gorgeous. Look at it. The parallax is amazing. Um, but yeah. Return down here. There we go. Ooh! We got ourselves a nice golden headstone. Maybe we can sell it for money. S selling our, we're selling our grave. That's what we've been reduced to. All right. Oh man, battle potion, feather fall potion. Will you stop it, please? Seriously, just, just let me go. I just want my painting. I just want my painting. Come, 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 come on, just let me go, please, please. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Dang it! I keep getting these. Okay, okay. Dang it! Dang it! Tried to recall myself. Uh, that gold is most definitely lost because the Hellbat got to it, but we didn't make off with a bit of gold, thankfully. Not as much as I would have liked, only two. But I suppose that's good enough. Um, so, yeah, let's. No, I don't want to change my clothes. Uh, let's quick stack a bunch of this stuff away real quick. Oh man, that's not accept anything. I throw all this furniture in here. How do we get three health forges? I don't know. We need to expand our um, our furniture chest because man do we have a lot of furniture. Uh, demon torches, bone torches, where's that candle? There it is. Alright. Um, now let's grab the obsidian and the hellstone. We'll just kind of stick all this over here. I wonder if I can sell that. And that. I don't know if it, throw, if it works when it's in my inventory or if I have to equip it, but we'll see. Let's 
place the Hellforge right here. I might. I'm just going to um, replace the furnace for the sake of saving space. So put that right there. We'll put away the furnace, and let's make ourselves a whole bunch of hellstone bars. Boom! 99, 100. All right. First things first, this is the most important for fighting Skeletron, which I really want to do in the next few episodes to kind of catch up. We're going to make ourselves the Molten Breastplate, the Molten Greaves, and the Molten Helmet. Alright, now we still have 55 left, so we're going to need to make ourselves the Molten Pickaxe, which is fast speed compared to the very fast speed, um, but it is better pickaxe power. So let's grab that. Sweet miner. We have gotten three achievements today. Um, nice, nice. And we need ourselves the fiery broadsword. Uh, savage. Oh, I think that might be even better than our. Oh, that is sweet. Uh, we need that for our um for our eventual knight's edge. So. Okay, that, that's that's good enough. It's not as fast, but it's better power. So I suppose that's fine. Let's keep the lights bane, the blade of grass down here. Now all we need is a Maramusa, and for that, we are required to defeat Skeletron, which we will do in the next few episodes. So, anyways, guys, that is it for this episode of Terraria 1.3 of the TXW. Next episode will be Wednesday, and there will be an episode of Terraria Living Underground on Friday. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh, but first, we should probably equip our armor. That's a good idea, Trex. Alright, defense is higher now. Yep. Yep, defense is higher now. What's the set bonus? 70% extra melee damage. That's fantastic. Goodbye.